As we all know, the human body is a delicate organism. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be, the human body has no wasted component. In fact, the slightest change to our anatomical ecosystem can lead to catastrophic consequences. Psych. The human body is actually kind of awesomely resilient in that it can straight up lose body parts and organs without losing any overall function. Now, wait a second. Losing any body parts without any consequence? I know, what are we, beloved superhero and leader of the X-Men Wolverine? How is that even possible? Well, if you subscribe to the theory of evolution, you might have heard of vestigial organs and body parts. A scientist by the name of Charles Darwin coined the concept as he believed these parts, which have little or no purpose in the human body, are vestiges left over from our evolutionary predecessors. Need some examples before we go any further? Say no more. Tailbone? Vestigial body part. Wisdom teeth? Vestigial body part. Male nipples? You can bet your right male reproductive organ they're a vestigial body part. And speaking of reproductive organs, well, we'll get to those in a second. While these body parts may have been useful once upon a time, they're not really necessary now. In fact, sometimes vestigial organs can be straight up deadly. The most popular and well-known vestigial organ is the appendix, located at the bottom right of the abdomen. For herbivores, the appendix is used to help digest cellulose. In humans, the appendix is little more than a ticking time bomb. Appendicitis, also known as what happens when you're your appendix decides to straight up explode inside of you is a surgical emergency that is treated by removing the appendix entirely. Fortunately for the 7% of the people who undergo the surgery, it's totally not a big deal and basically has no long-term impact on how you can live the rest of your life. Moving slightly up the abdomen and to the left, we find the spleen, which is predominantly used for storing and recycling red and white blood cells. While it's not as nefarious as the appendix, the spleen is pretty fragile and can cause serious complications if ruptured. Luckily for us, spleen work is more of a group assignment type deal, and if it's removed, the body's liver and lymphoid tissues can pick up the slack. If all this spleen talk is getting a little tough to stomach, it might bring you some comfort to know that you can get that removed too. Now the stomach, as I'm sure you can imagine, handles a big portion of the human digestion process. Typically, you'd want to keep your stomach. It's cool like that. But in the event that it's severely injured or irrevocably compromised by an illness, you can give it the boot entirely and still live a happy, healthy life while enjoying a normal diet too. Surgeons, miracle workers that they are, have figured out how to attach the esophagus, the thing that connects your mouth to your stomach, directly to the small intestines. Sure, you may have to chew your food a little more and take some vitamin supplements, but that's a small price to pay for keeping Taco Tuesdays in your life. The number of vestigial organs are starting to pile up, and we can understand if they're getting difficult to remember. So we've come up with a nifty little saying that can help keep track of some of them. Ready? The saying goes, if you've got two, one's good enough. Kidneys, lungs, and yes, the aforementioned reproductive organs fall under this rule of thumb. While keeping all of your organs should generally be a priority, you can definitely survive with just one of each. It just means the remaining organ will have to work twice as hard. In the case of male and female reproductive organs, you can even remove them completely and live, although your ability to create future life is definitely compromised. Think that sounds intense? Well, get a load of this one. Humans can even live and function normally with half of their brain. Typically, the brain is one organ you don't want to fail, but for people who suffer from severe seizures or other brain-related issues, a hemispherectomy, also known as the removal of one hemisphere of your brain, can be the only solution. Luckily, children who get the surgery are likely to recover fully and lead a healthy and happy life. So don't let anybody tell you that human beings aren't so tough. After all, we can lose our tailbone, wisdom teeth, nipples, appendix, spleen, stomach, kidney, lung reproductive organs, half a brain, and a hell of a lot more and keep on kicking. But again, please do your best to hold on to them, okay? Thank <laughs> you.